Prime Minister Jacinta Ardern opened the Tairawhiti Arts Festival, linking it to her visit to the region to promote vaccination against COVID-19. This is, uh, in fact, entirely has all been about increasing vaccination and just sending out that message uh, that no matter where we are in the country, vaccines matter. This is not just about Tamaki Makoto. It's not just about Auckland. That's right. We have to make sure that we lift our vaccination rates everywhere. She met and thanked people who were getting vaccinated in a bus outside the festival entrance next to Lawson Field Theatre. Newly arrived Gisborne resident Chris Grunwell said the Prime Minister's vaccination drive and her presence motivated her to attend and get her first vaccination done. Prime Minister said Kiwis had to lift vaccination rates everywhere, including in the most isolated and rural parts of New Zealand. Managing the outbreak was part of vaccination. She said many people who have not yet vaccinated were waiting. They were not necessarily anti-vaccination. And I today have had you know, half a dozen conversations with people who actually, when they talk to other people who have been vaccinated, who may have had doubts themselves, that is changing their mind, and so that's the kind of work we need to do. The government was trying its best to stamp out Delta, but we want everyone to be protected if it spreads, she said. The 90% vaccination rate for the country was a realistic target. The 85% rate in Auckland showed what was possible. Anti-vaxxers in New Zealand were small in number, she said. The Prime Minister said she was glad to be making her second appearance at the Tawhiti Arts Festival. She did not know until late stages that she would be attending. You know, for us, this is actually what vaccines are all about. Mm. You know, we want people to be out again enjoying the arts, our creative sector, and mm. that's one way we can, we can do that. The Prime Minister went to Ruatoria to watch the Nadi Pro East Coast men's and women's rugby teams and continue promoting COVID vaccination.